There's a new bar coming to the West Side. The name Turnstiles inspired by the late Billy Joel album, which helped the owner through his own hard turns in life. Pretty much deep in my alcoholism, like this album just kind of spoke to me. Meet Rob Schellenberg III, a recovering alcoholic, soon to be bar owner. These are the days, that's probably my favorite song because, you know, he talks about how your depression and your darkness doesn't have to define you. But Schellenberg wants his sobriety to be known, to show others it's not only possible to beat the disease, but to conquer it. His drinking started late in life after a job change. And because I went from working 70 hours a week to 30 hours a week, uh, just went through a bad breakup. Um, I just had all this time on my hands and a lot of uh, garbage on my mind. Now, he says he can help people in a way he never could before, keeping the bar a safe, fun place to go without making it a place to abuse. Schallenberg's dream of owning a restaurant came way before his addiction. He's been busting tables from his teens and has a stacked resume in the industry he loves. A delivery driver, a busser, bar back, food runner, bartender, uh, restaurant manager, you know. But now adding alcoholic, he is staying true to his personal journey. The bar, a reflection of his lived experience. I think our new vision that's kind of happened with my sobriety is, you know, offering a uh, quite a bit of mocktails, N.A. beers. They now have N.A. liquor, so you can have a non-alcoholic Sazerac. So, you know, you, don't, you feel a little bit more comfortable uh, being around other people drinking around. But there is so much more meaning on the menu. We're going to be known for our grilled cheese and our mac and cheese. It's going to be really good. We decided to name our mac and cheese after uh, one of my sponsees, Justin Kraft. He passed away uh, suddenly, and he was actually going to work here. So we decided to name our mac and cheese after him. Crafty's Mac and Cheese. From the artwork to the location, Turnstiles is the product of Schellenberg's dream come true, and it continues to motivate him to stay away from the bottle. Keeping my eye on the prize of knowing the fact that I have this awesome place and it all goes away if I pick up. Schellenberg is now over 500 days sober, and Turnstiles is planning to open up in less than 60. In Grand Rapids, I'm Leona Dunn.